Look, the Commission is uh, following the latest developments in the context of the selection procedure closely. The procedure is still ongoing. And let me remind also that it is being uh, led by the Council, which selects and appoints the candidates. So I will not go into too much uh, details of the actual procedure, but um, what I can repeat and what the Commissioner um, also said yesterday is that we're looking at various options uh, to end the current deadlock in the selection procedure. And um, one of them could be to amend the applicable rules so that the council um, could choose between two rather than three candidates um, should a country find it difficult to identify three eligible candidates. Uh, I'll not go into, into the details now of uh, why exa exactly um, some candidates might not have been eligible. As I said, it's, this is a procedure led by the council, so I would um, ask you to address your uh, question to the council. Thank you, Christian. Do we have other questions for Christian on rule of law issues? Nicola, you have a follow-up? No? Yes? No. Any other questions? Yes. yes. yes? Okay, go yes. ahead. Sorry. Sorry, thank you for that. Um, I just want to clarify something as well because uh, the Commissioner Renders also said that we do not have, we do not yet have 27 European prosecutors in place. Does this mean that all 27 member states are now participating in the EPPO or, because I, I understood there was a handful of member states that still have not uh, come forward um, to participate in, in this office. So I, if you could clarify exactly how many, how many member states are indeed participating, that'd be great, thank you. Um, yes, no, indeed we are, there are not all member states participating in the EPPO. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we have 22 member states participating. Um, sorry, I can't find the, the number now, but that's from what I recall that we have 22. I might have to correct myself. Thank you, Christian. 